Hi, I'm Elisa. Welcome to Flow Living TV, where we discuss all things hormone related and how to use food to make your hormones work better for you. And today's question comes from a woman out in Texas. She's interested to know if, um, is there anything in my medicine cabinet that might be disrupting my hormones? And if so, what can I use to replace those products with? Great question. So, so important. I think all of us have products in our home that we don't realize are uh, unknowingly doing doing harm to our endocrine system's delicate work of keeping our hormones balanced each and every day. And if you're doing all the work that we're teaching you at Flow Living of eating in your hormonal health, then you want to make sure you're not doing this to undo all that good work. So let's start. There are five that I'd love for you to switch. Let's start with the first one. The first one are antacids. Now antacids block the absorption of nutrients if used over time. Um, in the digestive process. So what I'd love for you to do is maybe if you're noticing that you have a hard time breaking down your food is actually swapping antacids for digestive enzymes. So you can pick these up. I love Rainbow Light. They make a great one that doesn't have any glandulars in it. It's just all the enzymes that your body needs to break down the different macronutrients in your food. And that's an easy swap. Take that before the meal and then you won't need to take an antacid after the meal. Number two, is over-the-counter pain medication. So if you're using you know, things like Advil and Tylenol to manage chronic pain or muscle soreness, I'd love for you to think about swapping that out with a natural solution, and here's why. Over time, exposing your liver to all of that medication can compromise its ability to metabolize estrogen. And if you're dealing with hormonal symptoms, you know that that's a big no-no. So what's the swap? try applying topically something like Arnica gel, which can relieve the muscle soreness and stiffness and also help with pain. Number three is body lotion. I know I've said this before, but I have to say it again because you're putting so much of this on onto the largest organ that you have, which is your skin. And whatever you're putting on the skin is going right into the bloodstream unchecked. So if your body lotion has a lot of funky chemicals that you can't pronounce, mo chances are really good those have endocrine disruptors and that's going to do some harm to the hormonal balance you're trying to create. So look for 100% shea butter or look for all natural body lotions that you can just make an easy swap for your after shower care. Number four is actually your toothpaste. Now we're talking about the bathroom so I'm just kind of going through what I know might be in your medicine cabinet and toothpaste is most likely going to be in there. And if toothpaste has fluoride in it, this is a big endocrine disruptor because fluoride interferes with your thyroid's ability to manufacture thyroid hormone. So if you're dealing with thyroid issues or sluggish metabolism or you're having issues with ovulation, I want you to make a simple swap from fluoridated toothpaste to toothpaste that's fluoride free. Tom's of Maine makes one, Jason makes them, you can get them at your local health food store. They taste great, they clean your teeth, and you won't miss the fluoride at all. Number five are sleep aids. Anytime you're messing with your sleep, taking anything to help you fall asleep, you're messing with your hormones. So I want you to make a product swap, and you could actually use two different things. The first is an ionic form of magnesium. It's powdered. You can put it in some hot water, make it like a tea, half an hour before bed will help you fall asleep. And the second thing is actually using passion flower. It's an herbal tincture that helps relax the nervous system and help you calm down and unwind to help you feel like you can fall asleep. So try the natural route first. You'll be amazed at how effective those natural solutions can be. And you're not messing with any of your hormones, which of course is the whole point. Now I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think of this video by leaving your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have a burning question about your medicine cabinet or your hormones, email us at info at flowliving.com so we'll get that question answered for you. Every woman deserves to feel great all month long, and I want you to experience your new normal of health. 